Hello, my name is Mary Steen, and this is my presentation on intercultural communication. So I'd like to start this presentation with a story I read over the news the past couple weeks. So this happened at Duke University, which is in the Raleigh area of North Carolina, and it's about a professor who resigned after sending an email to her first and second year graduates in the building to only use English or risk unintended consequences. She sent this email because there's a group of Chinese exchange students who are conversing with each other using their first language, which is Chinese, and she did not think it was appropriate to, for them to be speaking a language other than English, even though the first language was Chinese, which, as you can tell, the, like this email got, went viral and did not end up how she thought it was going to end up, and she ended up resigning because it was very inappropriate of her to ask them to not speak their first language with each other. Um, this um, story came to the question of, of if she had better intercultural communication skills, would she have not acted the way she did? So what is intercultural communication? It, um, intercultural communication skills are those required to communicate or share information with people from other cultures, other cultures and social groups, such as the um, Chinese exchange students, if they're conversing with a professor who um, was from America, so there's that barrier. Um, and it helps understand that there are differences between cultures. Um, and there are differences in cultures that we must be willing to accept and willing to adapt to. And this is an important like topic because in our life, we're gonna meet many people of different cultures being in America, and we just need to learn to adapt and be able to understand where they're coming from and what their differences are. Why intercultural communication isn't as strong as it could be. There are many different things. One is cultural differences, such as there, as other cultures have different social norms, customs, and standards. There's a language barrier between some cultures, such as the Chinese students with English, even though they, since they went to Duke, they probably were able to speak English, but since they're talking just to each other, they're speaking Chinese to each other. And then different beliefs and values, such as some people in different cultures believe that you should take your shoes off when you enter a building, and we must be able to understand that's their belief, even though it's, if it's not your belief. How improving intercultural communication can improve businesses. It can make it easier to work with people from different areas of the world, easier to collaborate with people from different areas of the world, and ability to see other people's side better on a business deal or a business collaboration. In the business world, we are going to have to communicate with people from many parts of the world and many different cultures, and we're just going to have to adapt to what they are so we can make great deals and be the best business people we could possibly be. Improving intercultural communication. Ways we can improve intercultural communication are talk to people who know about the culture, adapt your behavior because you cannot always expect the other person to adapt their behavior. Check your understanding of the conversation throughout the conversation. Ask questions to help understand. Read up on behavioral norms and issues. Go to the library or watch some documentaries on the culture or watch the news. Be aware of the cultural differences between you and the person from a different culture. Be able to read body languages. Examples are hand motions, eye contact, or eye behavior, and how they are talking. Break assumptions that your culture is the same as someone else's culture. Not all cultures are the same. A summary of my presentation is, in conclusion, intercultural communication is a key component of the business world and helps improve business as a whole and better understand people's cultural differences. And I will end on a final thought quote, which is, differences simply act as a yearn of curiosity unraveling until we get to the other side which means everyone is different until you get to know like where they are coming from.
And that is my presentation and I hope you enjoyed it.